So we've just wrapped up Technology 2021, which, as you can imagine, was very different than Technology 2020. And, uh, you know, I think we've, it's interesting as an industry, we've moved past the conversation around are virtual conferences, you know, better or worse than live conferences. It doesn't matter. It's what we've got right now, right? So the point is, how do we make the most of it? And um, we were all over this conference, actually, uh, on, on three different really key messages that are important for the industry right now. Um, one was around XAPI, right? How do we make XAPI easier? Matt Cleaver and I shared a, a quick demo on why you would use Zappoli, which helps you write XAPI statements for, um, for Storyline, get better data out of your e-learning, get better utility out of your learning record store because you have more to report on and more to, to investigate. And uh, so we built that business case and then Matt actually showed you how to use it. So that was really very powerful. Um, Jessica Jackson and I had a fantastic session, really engaged with a chat group a lot uh, on learning and development's role in helping our organizations cultivate racial equity in the workplace. Really looking at three sets of steps around awareness and we focused on our own um, identities and how those identities uh, create barriers or access for us and how those same identities end up being either our blind spots or our trigger points, right? So that awareness is really key as we come into this work. We then talked about how do we take action and there's so many different levels in which we take action, but we were working with a learning and development crew, of course. And so we really focused on how do we make media selections that are really truly inclusive and positively representative of the, the, the diversity that we want to uh, create in our organizations. And then we talked about culture and that's the, the long hard one. Um, how do we take into consideration who we hire, who we work with and how we work in order to build those reinforcing messages around race, racial equity in the workplace. And then finally, I wrapped up the week uh, with a session on how we can as, as L&D practitioners use agile methods to really help us get things done in the organization. And so short of actually adopting agile, which I'm a huge fan of, of course, but looking at how I can use some of those techniques to build better relationships within my organization that help me get my work done? And then how do I use iterative development and release, not just iterative development, iterative development and release to be able to get product out early, get feedback on it, get it used in the organization and make any adjustments I need in future releases. So it was a huge week. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I miss people um, in that face-to-face -face kind of networking and serendipitous conversations that you have at a live conference. But man, for a virtual session, ATD knocked it out of the park and I really enjoyed it.